everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, this time I'm going to do a video which is about making the comic rather than the uh, historical accuracy side or the um, other sort of biblical aspects of the word for word Bible comic. As I've been working on it for a while now, I've kind of developed ways to more efficiently create a page. Um, and recently I've uh, kind of honed that and set up. A specific kind of blank template which I then use um, when I'm creating the page putting the words on getting it ready um, in, the, in my case for the colorist so what I'm going to do now is just um, go through some of those sort of best practice things that I've um, just come up with basically through working and having to recreate everything all the time or in my case I often drag from other pages previous pages things like the speech bubbles and stuff so as you can see before you've got a kind of template there um, it's got the guides in place <clears throat> which I use for my comic and then I draw my comic by hand and scan it in so um, here's a scan um, also what I can what I do is by doing that is I can make sure that the page is on the right just exactly the right place like all the other pages match up the little uh, crosses in the corners and the, and the lines on the on the on the page now um, what I do so you get your picture and then I have a also as well as this template as I have a little list which reminds me the order in which I work on a page and so the first thing I do is add the words on um, in my case, I, I use the word straight from the Bible. So I um, bring up the, um, I'll bring it onto the screen. So I bring up the, the words that I need, and then I copy them across and add in the all the, all the text. Now, you've got your own script, which you're using. You can do the same sort of thing where you copy and paste the, the text in. But what's useful is I've got here all the, boxes, the type of boxes that I use, and then the type of text that I use for different uh, reasons. And I've also labelled them up, you know, with logical names. So it's a narration text, a letter shout, um, you know, shout there. And they're all here. And then what I can do is when I'm ready to go and add all the words on, is I can press Alt and drag and create extra extra copies of the little boxes and speech bubbles that I need um, you know and I put them in the places where where I need them um, and that one and then I can get all the text and copy and just add them in and then I can paste the actual words I need straight in to replace the text that's there then you know, resize it and everything. That way, it makes it nice and easy to get all the the right words, the right fonts, and everything all, all ready to go in the right places. And then when I'm done adding all the text, I'll have extra ones that I don't need, like these ones at the bottom. And then I can just throw them away, so I'm not get all these extra layers unnecessarily. So. Adding the text is what I do. I also then move on um, and correct the lines. So the reason I do the text first is so I've got enough space. So if I go, you know, I need a lot of text here, but he's in the way, I can just cut him out, move him down a bit, and then you know sort him out so that he's just like a little bit lower down. Um, so I work on the lines and I go through and correct all the little lines that are wrong. Um, then I move on and. Um, I flip the image um, horizontal, um, yeah, flip horizontally so that I can look at it afresh with fresh eyes and just make sure everybody's face looks right and and the balance of the pictures is right and everything like that. Then I move on and do the shadows. Um, now, what I've also done on my little template page is add the other layers I'm going to need. So I've got the shadow layer there with the right fill and type ready to go so that when I want to make a sh shadows I can just click on that layer and it's already named and it's they've got colors and stuff they're all ready to go normally before I did all this I do, I do one stage I you know change the picture add the words and I create a new layer then I'd name it and then 
I changed the, all the settings for it and all that. So it all just takes a little bit of time. Same with the gutters, although there's no gutters on there at the moment, I use gray gutters. I've got it all set up with ready to go with the stroke, you know, waiting and everything. So that when the time comes um, to add the gutter, let's just do it as an example. Um, I can do so. There we go. And then it's done. Uh, so I didn't have to create the layer, add the stroke and everything. It's all ready to go. So that's um, an example of, of what I've done. I've got all the you know, layers ready there, all named up, backgrounds, st strokes and gutters and also notes where I, uh, you know, it's colored and I can add on the notes for the colorist and um, just sort of write them in. Um, oh, whoops, got the wrong tool. I'll write them in by hand. Oh, it's not going to do it because it's recording. But um, basically that's how how I do it and by using the template save myself a lot of time. So I hope this video has been useful and uh, if you're creating a comic you'll, you, you won't have thought of some of these things before and um, by having your page saved, in this case it's like page zero for me, um, once you've got it already and added all your extra words you can then say you know save as and get rid of all the extra bits you don't need and then your page is um, ready to go with the minimal effort. So thanks for joining us. If you want to see more videos, you can do so on the YouTube page. You can hit subscribe. You can also go to the website, which is wordforwordbiblecomic.com forward slash blog and see the blog there with other things if you're interested in the history and other blogs and um, progress reports and things like that. So thanks for joining us and uh, catch you next time.